Hey guys, I'm Worth It On and we are back for Shield Hero episode 24. Uh, this is the second to last episode, guys. The penultimate to the season finale, I guess. Um, I know anime doesn't really usually consider their, you know, seasons, the traditional seasons like our live action does. So I don't know why I said that. But anyways, uh, either way, we're on the last two episodes. I'm, I mean, we're obviously not wrapping up the whole story because there's still more in the manga. And there's also two more seasons coming, I believe. I remember hearing that. Um... I, I've mentioned it in a lot of my videos, so I don't know why I'm second-guessing myself now. I'm sure I did hear it. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, last time we had the somewhat, like, little beach episode. I'm surprised it didn't give us a little more, but it was a very relaxing episode, and that's what I really liked about it. I don't, I don't really need beach stuff. That was just a prediction I made because the place I went to looked very tropical, but... Um, but they ended up, you know, doing some fighting, but it wasn't, it didn't seem, like, very stressful. They they handled all the situations pretty quickly. Uh, the interactions between Lark and Teresa and the, the group were a lot of fun. I, I really liked Teresa, how happy she was with the, uh, I think it's just Therese. I don't think there's, like, an A at the end, but, uh... Anyways, uh, I liked how she was very into the bracelet that Naofumi made her. She was, like, even tearing up because of how good it came out and stuff like that and seemed like it was very strong when she used it in combat. Uh, I hope we get to see her again fighting here because um, Death Gun in the comments told me about how her hair turns red and her eyes, I think, also turn red when she's doing her magic and I did not notice that. I don't know how I didn't notice it. I am blind as hell, I guess. I I must have been either reading subtitles or focusing on a different part of the uh, the scene when it happened. But I definitely want to look out for that. Uh, hopefully we see it this episode. But they still don't know that now for me is the shield hero. I'm really hoping they don't find out and, like, and turn on him. Like, I hope they find out, but I hope they're like, wow, you're nothing like what people say. You're a good guy. And not the stereotype of, oh my god, you're the shield hero, I've heard so many bad things, you're a jerk, bye. And just, like, you know, really hate on him. So, I don't know, I guess we'll we'll see what happens there. I'm really hoping we, uh, we have a good outcome, though, you know, so. But, and then there's also a wave coming in, I think it was 48 hours, if I remember correctly... I'm not sure, but there is a wave coming, so they're going to have to be warning the people on the island. I have a feeling we're going to get the trope of them not believing them, because it sounds like there's never been a wave. And then I had my theory that I hope the wave didn't start. Like, I hope the timer didn't start going down because they opened the door, and that was something that was supposed to remain sealed. You know, I, I really hope they don't get blamed for this, so... Uh, because I feel like that would just be taking a step back before this whole arc closed right now for me, which is getting blamed for shit. But, uh, even though it, this kind of would be his fault if that was the case. But, anyways, let's jump into this episode and see where this season goes. Oh, shoot. Not quite yet. Uh, last thing real fast. Um, by the time this is releasing, I think there might be a couple days left in the poll. If I'm not mistaken, I hope I'm right. So I'll have links in the description where you can access the poll. So go down there, check that out, and get your votes in before it ends. If it's already ended by the time this makes it out to uh, to YouTube, I apologize and uh, and sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's get into it now. So, like usual, we're doing full length uh, timer based reactions now. So you guys are gonna need the footage yourself to sync up to the timer that I put in the corner over, not there, there. Um, and that way we can watch the whole episode together without any copyright issues and all that. So, yeah, guys, you know the drill by now, so let's get into it, shall we? We are going to start the episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Ooh, right into the opening. Interesting. There's also going to be a little 8-second clip to help you guys sync up in case you want to try to perfectly sync with me, because, uh... I tend to like to try to do that when I'm watching uh, reactions. I don't like being like a, a second behind. It makes it feel weird. Uh... 
That's a weird shot with him looking up like that, I don't know why. Hmm. This isn't new, is it? I don't think so. I think it's because I've only seen the opening, like, I think I watched it for the first time last week. Or is this the first time I'm watching it? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> they were just fighting, like, little goblin things. Oh, God. Oh, I just noticed her hair was red in the opening, too. Cool. Oh, that was really cool. Maybe this is my first time watching this. Crap, guys. I'm sorry I didn't give it, like, a proper reaction. That was really cool how he was, like, taking the beam, and then they came in from underneath and helped lift him up. That was so cool. Oh, okay. Okay, good. We just skipped right over the people not believing him phase. He said they started making preparations. Yeah, they will. Not good. Yeah, okay. 48 hours and 21 minutes, yeah. Okay. That... Nice. Okay, that's a good idea. Oh, that is so good. That's how you don't get just denied by the islanders. Whoa. Is Ren scared of the waves now? Or, oh no, he was also getting seasick, wasn't he, before? Is he just seasick? Oh, it's cool to see them again. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. All right, cool. I'm so glad the queen is going to in the battle. My favorite character. I love how she just leads the charge. So good. Not just like a pompous noble that just stays in the capital while everyone else fights. I wonder if Glass is going to show up again. I imagine she has to as, like, a season ending. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ooh. What was, what was that? Was that just, does he know that he's a shield hero now, or was that a look of, oh jeez, okay, it's starting. That might have also just been a look of, like, unease, you know, of what's about to go down. Man, we're getting right into the wave, okay, cool. This is what I wanted, though. This is how I was hoping it played out. I was hoping it wasn't, like, this whole episode preparing. Oh, are those, like, explosives? Yeah. Cool. Is there stuff coming from the water? Kohal fruit? Al alcohol fruits? Oh, wow, those water monsters. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. So they're getting the monsters drunk, right? And they're passing out. 
That's what they were doing. They exploded the bins so that way they polluted the water. Oh, damn. Glass leading charge? Oh, no, it's a monster. I thought that was, like, a badass ship. Is that just a monster, or is that, like, the wave boss? Holy shit, that thing's big. It's got a massive tail. Oh. I'm guessing Ren is just seasick, right? Weren't the other ones seasick too? Or are they just fine? Uh. Hmm. Does he have some kind of water breathing type thing? Because before they had the outfit so they could breathe underwater. Oh. Taunting it. Yes, get angry. Come fight me. That thing is crazy. So big. Holy crap. Oh, nice. Lured it up in the air so they can hit it. Okay, nice. He got an attack off regardless of whatever situation he's in. <laughs> Hanging on for dear life. Yeah. Oh, no. That's another boat down. Jeez. Oh, she got a damn harpoon gun. She did damage to it. Why can she do damage with the damn harpoon gun? Oh, wow. Jesus, Raftali is doing more damage than the other heroes. <laughs> Wait, so did they just, like, fail at leveling up or something? I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. They probably argued the whole time instead of leveling. Well, it missed, I think. Oh, crap. Monsters! Oh, jeez. Oh, yes! The power of water to thrash my targets! Way to go, Melty. Oh, someone's going to defend her. No? That's not good. Oh! Trying to just drag her into the water? Now for me, he's going to go for her, right? Oh, Lark! You badass. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so glad it was him. What a badass. Oh my god, he's just shredding them. <laughs> nice. Ooh, okay, so maybe he knows now. Shoot. Maybe that's what that look was about. It seems like he's trying to fight through his contemption for the shield hero to see that Naofumi is doing good. I feel like that's what we're seeing right now, but I guess we'll find out. Oh. <laughs> I love how he's just so much better than the heroes. I don't get it. What did they do this whole time? Oh, damn. They're doing some damage, though. It's 
So if Glass is gonna show up, why didn't she show up yet? Oh, there she is! Ooh, she buffed his staff with some lightning. Nice. And I think I noticed briefly that her hair was red. It kind of happened quickly. I didn't realize that she showed up. Nice. They're just standing on its back. I mean, he knew he used a shield before. He even, like, pointed it out that that's, like, a weird weapon and that he's mimicking the shield hero. Is he, like... I don't know what that was supposed to tell us. Damn it. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's true. He's got a point. Oh. Uh, don't be evil. No! Ah, uh, why? Is his, like... What? Why? No! I didn't want it to go like this! <sighs> so they're still sort of nice. I want to know their reasoning, though. They want the waves to happen? Yes, tell us. We're heroes of another world? What? 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 Well, they just, like, expanded the world, I think, if I'm understanding right, like, massively. What the hell? <laughs> just did nothing. God damn. Oh, her hair is still blue using that power anyway. Hmm. There it goes, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. My, my brain is just, like, while this is happening, my brain is just rattling at, like, the possibilities of what could be going on. I don't even know, like, what to think. Is she protecting the... Wait, what? Yeah, that's what I'm confused about. I thought she was going to try to, like, help the monsters. What? So why now for me? Damn. Oh. 
Wow. He has two of them. Damn. If only our other heroes were cool like Lark. So it seems like they disabled the ship so they couldn't go to help, and then put the fires out so they didn't completely sink, I think, is what they did. Because they don't want to, like, they're their only target now for me for whatever reason. Oh, jeez. Aww. <laughs> okay, that was a oh, weird little part, but... Oh, crap. Damn, he's just that strong. He must have some kind of ability to do some damage bypassing shields or something. What? Oh, what? How's the bracelet talking? Wow. Yeah. Well, it must be like partially, maybe? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Now that he said that, I don't know. I think I'm wrong. <laughs> uh... Damn. Alright. Well. The... <laughs> what do you think they were trying to do? <laughs> I guess she put him back on his game, though. <laughs> the... That sentence. He sounded so confident, but that it was just like, Your attacks will hit me if I dodge. Alright. Oh. Nice. Uh, good stuff. Whoa. Damn. Oh, nice. <clears throat> oh. Nice now for me. God, this is a really good exchange. I'm just, like, trying to keep up watching it. I have, like, nothing to say. That was great, though. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, they are.
So are they part of this? Like, well, they didn't come with the wave, so I don't think they're part of the wave. Hmm. Getting in his head. What was that? Why are you goofing off? Oh, that's glass, isn't it? Yup. She's with them. Well, this isn't good. Alright. Brushed him off. I feel like that's a bit better than he did last time already. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. He didn't bring out his, uh, his Cursed series stuff. Sure, he's gonna have to use it here. I imagine. Oh! Oh, crap, it's over! Oh, wow. That was a good episode, damn it. Ah. Oh. I don't know what to think with this whole reveal. I'm having, like, so many thoughts going through my head of possibilities that I want to talk about for, like, what they could mean with this. And that's, like, unless we somehow get answers next episode, for those of you only watching the anime and not watching the manga, you're gonna be in the same boat as me, which is kind of cool, right? Like, um... For those of you watching that have been holding back for no spoilers, we can we can start having conversations. Obviously, if you've read the manga, you're going to know way more, and it's not going to work out as well, uh, conversation-wise, but... Oh, man. Do, 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 do. All right. No after credit stuff. That is it. All right. The end of episode 24. And then last episode is called The Rising of the Shield Hero. I think I just saw that, right? Is that what I just saw? Yep. It doesn't really spoil anything. It's just the name of the show, but that's, that's cool. Um, I'm hyped for that episode, but man. Okay, so I want to talk about that reveal first while I have like these thoughts spinning in my head. So they're heroes from another world. Does that mean that they were taken from another world as well? Because we have these four heroes, right? And they were all taken from different worlds because we had that conversation at one point during the show where their their paths were different, right? Like you know, the certain wars that were fought that weren't fought in another person's world and stuff like that. So they were taken from, like, alternate universes. Um, but they all seemed sort of Earth-like, which is weird, you know? Like, it's like there's two different realms, right? There's, like, the Earth-like, like, our world-like, but then there's multiple universes of that. But now it seems like there's this, like, game world fantasy sort of thing and then multiple worlds in that as well. So, unless I'm misunderstanding something, um, I don't know. Like, so, so here's one of my first thoughts that came to mind. They're heroes from another world, just like now for me, they were summoned into the world to defend against the waves. These waves attack multiple worlds, right? Um, 
and maybe they struck a deal. Like when Glass showed up, maybe they struck a deal with Glass and they decided we'll help you take over another world if you spare this world, right? Because that that was one of the first things I thought of when Lark said uh when Lark said we're doing this to save our world. My first thought was maybe they're leveraging, you know, taking over an Alphamy's world in order to save their own. But then there's like some other options that aren't even as nefarious where like maybe the waves can only attack one world at a time and they're making sure that they attack this world instead of theirs, you know? I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Like, they're, so they're heroes from another world. They're really cool, though. They're like, they're like the protagonists of their own stories, right? Like, that's crazy. And I like how they're still, like, respectful. They're not just like, like, Glass seems evil, but they seem respectful. Like, I, even though Glass was on their side... I still think that there's a separation between Glass and them, right? Like, I don't think Glass is another hero from that same world they're from. I think Glass is, uh... I think Glass is gonna be something different that just struck a deal or something with Lark and Therese and are, you know... They were originally fighting each other and stuff like that, but... This also lends me more to the possibility of my thoughts of uh, having the waves be something instigated by someone who maybe used to be a hero or something in one of these worlds. And now that we know there's multiple worlds, that feels like it makes it even more plausible that, you know, these kind of like, it's honestly kind of a cliche I don't want to believe it, honestly. I hope it's something different. I hope they come up with, like, a really good story for it. Because they do it in a lot of shows where there's, like, a, a demon king or whatever that needs to be stopped in these, you know, different isekai worlds. And you were summoned from another world to to help combat that, you know, demon king kind of thing. I hope it's not going to be something like that where we just find out, you know, it's a demon king, someone summoned from another world that just went evil and now he's controlling all these beasts to try to conquer, you know, every world, you know, I don't know. But uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not that. Hopefully it's something even more crazy, but I don't know. Um, I guess that's one cool thing is the mystery for now, regardless of what the answer is, the mystery is really fun. Because we have no idea what glass is, and it's not like there's, it's not like there's a real way to distinguish NPCs from the heroes in this game or in this world. Sorry, uh, that they're in. Uh, like the only way we know who the heroes are in this world is like maybe the way they dress, and like you could make the assumption, you know, and then just the fact that they're famous, you know. But if you looked at glass in just, like, a walking through a town setting, you'd probably never know that she, you know, she could be a hero from another world, or she could be, you know, this big evil bad, or you'd just think she's a normal person walking down the road. Like, there's nothing in the game that distinguishes, like, I don't think Naofumi can look at, like, over the heads of the people and tell that they're, like, you know, technically, like, NPCs, you know? Even though they're not even really NPCs in this, in, like, the traditional sense. So, I don't know, it's... It's so damn interesting. I'm, I think I'm more excited for the story more than anything, you know? And this just hyped me up so much more that they're, you know, these other worlds, apparently, that, you know, might be fending themselves off from these ways. And, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of going with my theory that they're, you know, leveraging the safety of their world to help attack this world, you know? And uh, I wonder if that's, like, maybe how it started for Glass, too. Maybe maybe Glass came from a different world than either of these two, and she did kind of the same thing, and now she's, like, been forced to be in service of it forever, you know? Or, I don't know. 
or she just loves fighting so much that she, I don't know, because she was, like, really into fighting last time. I don't, I'm kind of getting over my own head, but, uh, but man, I want to know so much more. And don't worry, I'm not going to go read the manga when this is over. I'm just going to wait for the next season to come, but, jeez, I, I really do, uh, I really do want to know more, you know, <laughs> but... But yeah, so I guess to move on to other stuff in this episode, I guess that's why... I guess that's why Lark was giving him those looks. He was doubting... So they came... The other thing is, is they came here for now for me, right? Now, here's the, the simple thought that I had, which might be the most likely, is that Glass told them about someone who was almost able to stand up against her in the previous fight, you know, um, sort of almost, like, she still bodied them, but he wasn't one to, like, die right away, like, she, it seems like he surprised, like, Naofumi surprised her, and, uh, and so my guess is, is that Glass went up to Lark and Therese and was like, there's a guy in this world I want you to go up against. Um, it's the you know it's the shield hero, and that's why Lark was was saying like you know we're not here for anybody else, even like his party members he didn't want to hurt and stuff like that. He was only there for now for me. So whatever their deal was, I wonder if Glass was testing now for me. I, like I actually wonder if Glass was somewhat scared of now for me in a way. Where she was like, I really want to test how strong he's gotten in this time. Because if he's gotten too strong, then I don't want to confront him, you know. Because, obviously, if, you know, for some reason, say, say nothing ever happened with Naofumi's, like, all the crap that happened to him, you know, in the first 20, what, 22 episodes. And imagine if he just got to train and got stronger this whole time. And imagine, like, how strong he'd be, you know? And I think that might be what scares Glass. You know, this is obviously just hypothetical. I have no idea. And so she's like, crap, like, he might be able to just kick my ass. So I should send these guys here to fight. And uh, and that's what she did. And, you know, she was even kind of impressed. She was like, you know, you managed to do this much damage without bringing out your curse series. But she was so confident enough to attack so she must know that she's still stronger, you know? I don't know. It's interesting, because it always seems like she's trying to get Naofumi to be stronger, so she has a better fight, but I'm sure, like, does she want to try to get Naofumi to be equal to her? Or does she just want to be, like, just barely better and win, you know? I don't know. I don't know, like, I still don't fully know what her goals are and everything. And she didn't even seem to care about, like, the successfulness of the wave. She just seemed to care about fighting, too, which is interesting. So, I mean... Ah, God, there's so much I want to know. But I really loved the exchange that they were able to put out against uh, Lark. I, I really liked it, how they were able to uh, go one-off, like, back to back to back to back to back. They just fired off attacks, which is really cool. I love to see it because, you know, it does annoy me, and I'm particularly annoyed these days because um, currently in my spare time, I've been catching up with uh, the CW live-action superhero shows like The Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, and stuff like that, and a lot of the times, Flash is very guilty of this, and those shows, they'll do one good attack against the villain, like, knock him down, and then stand there and wait for the villain to get back up, and then be like, oh, no, he blasted me, when they could just, like, keep hitting him while he's down, you know? And it's not a very, like, hero-like thing to do to hit him when they're down, but they could do other stuff, like, handcuff him, you know, do tie him up, do something, you know, to, to prevent them just from, like, getting up and attacking again, but, uh... But, like, that's, like, one thing I really liked about this episode was their relentless attack on Lark to the point where they, you know, did some good damage. Even Glass, like, pointed out the damage that they did to him and everything. Um, 
but it's it's crazy how useless the other heroes were too. Like, uh, I'll, like our three heroes is what I mean. Now we have so many heroes, it's hard to say. <laughs> it's hard to talk about them. Um, but like Isuki, Ren, and uh... wow, why am I? I, I know it starts with a K, and I almost like wanted to say Konohamaru from watching Boruto yesterday. Um, Kitamura, there we go. Um, they, like, they must have slacked so hard during this leveling experience. Granted, Nafumi did get some help by teaming up with Lark and stuff like that, and I'm guessing they got a lot of leveling done because of that and everything. Um, but they did... You know, they went to that one, they all went to that one leveling spot, all four heroes, the three of them started arguing, and then Naofumi left and started leveling. We don't know how long they sat there arguing, you know, we don't know how much they slacked off, we didn't get to see that, but based on the fact that they couldn't even scratch that monster, and Raftalia could, you know, means that I'm guessing they didn't do nearly as much as Naofumi did, which is... You know, they, they really need to get their shit together. They are not focused at all. Like, basically, like, now for me, he says, they're still treating this like it's just a video game when they need to, you know, they're never going to defeat the waves that way, which means they're never going to go home, and they're just going to be, they're just screwing themselves, basically. But, um, I hope maybe they, like, at some point in the next season or the one after, they start to realize that friggin' the error of their ways, and they actually start trying, you know, maybe asking for advice from Naofumi of what he does if they don't know what to do, you know? Be more open-minded than just being, like, stubborn little shits that are practically useless, you know? They're just sidelined here while Naofumi is, like, winning, you know? They're fighting off these guys. And, I mean... Not to meta, not to meta game too much, but just based off the title of the next episode, we're gonna see most likely now for me standing tall. You know, the rise, of, the rising of the shield hero kind of thing. But, um, but anyway, I, I kind of mentioned it briefly, but I really like how Lark is just there for now for me. So he's not, he's not really there to take others' lives. You know, so they. They did do the meteor storm, which I think was to kind of disable the boats and, like, maybe give the boats something to do as well. And then she also put the fires out. So maybe while they're, like, fixing holes and stuff like that, like, getting the water off and everything, they're they're going to be a little too distracted to to get in the way of the fight and stuff like that. So I do I do like that aspect of, uh, of Lark and stuff. Like I said before, they're not, they're not bad people, but... Um, I also very much like that they skipped right past anything that I talked about where I mentioned that they might end up, uh, like the village people might end up disagreeing with, uh, or not disagreeing, that's the wrong word, sorry. Not listening to now for me, you know, and not believing when he says, uh, you know, there's a wave coming. I thought we were going to get that for like the first half of the episode was going to be like, there's a wave coming, and they're like, yeah, right, there's never been a wave here before. But no, instead, Naofumi teleported to the queen, who he knows will believe him, and then the queen gave out the order, which everybody listened to, you know? I love that so much more than anything I thought of. Like, I I guess, like, the teleport ability is so new that I didn't think of Naofumi utilizing it, but that was that was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. So they were able to, you know, take relatively quick action to get, you know, everybody on boats, everybody ready, and start sailing. Even though it didn't matter, right? Because they got teleported, but the boats got teleported too, so I guess that's why they need to get everybody on boats and ready, you know? I guess it's a good thing that the boats didn't get teleported onto the island. That would suck, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe you get teleported right to, uh, right to where the hourglass is? But that's not really where Naofumi got teleported the other times, right? Or did he get teleported to the Hourglass? Because the Hourglass was underwater, so it would have got teleported onto the water if that was the case, right? But, I don't know. But, yeah, that was that was a really good episode. I'm going to skim through it real fast just to make sure that there wasn't anything I missed. Um, 
the the fight against the big whale thing was cool. Um, I I really like their strategy of using alcohol to get the monsters drunk and then attack them while they were like passed out in the water. That was really funny. Um, and I mean clever. I like I like clever ideas of that and stuff. But really, the rest of the episode was just the fight, which I absolutely loved. But I don't really have much more to say about that. Now, when we managed to use like the ghost shield thing that bit Lark, and he said it like made him a little numb, but that's all it did. And then he also got the venom off on Lark too. So I wonder like how much all that is affecting him and everything. But but yeah. I am super excited for the next episode, and unfortunately, that also means the show's going to be ending soon, so uh, you guys can also keep an eye out for a video I'll be making. I think I might record it tomorrow, uh, we'll see, uh, that is talking about my new Patreon benefits and what I'm going to be doing, and uh, and so you guys can keep an eye out on that if you're interested in what I'm going to be doing with my with my Patreon and everything. I guess... Well, technically, if you're watching this on YouTube, then the video's already out, because if I do record it tomorrow, you know, this is being put on Patreon tomorrow, so, um, you know, and then it'll be a week until it's out for public, but, but yeah, guys, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying my content so you can get alerts and everything, and then also check out my Patreon, which I just mentioned, where I will be updating the benefits fairly soon, as well as there's already early access available if you want to see stuff a week early. But I'm going to be adding more benefits basically just because uh, this full-length format that we have for these videos now used to be a Patreon benefit, and now it's just a permanent thing for everybody. So I'm going to be coming up with more benefits in order to... Uh, make it more enticing for you guys and make it more rewarding for you guys to support me, which helps me and I guess helps you guys too, because it's, you know, more content and stuff like that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.